Good evening, all. I uh, wanted to do an unboxing of the Hush and Grimm Deluxe vinyl set um, and actually filmed something earlier, but I filmed it this way and not this way. And so I'm gonna try this again. Uh, so I already opened it, I already opened the box. But, um, thought that it would still be kind of fun to go over. So anyway, there's the front. Uh, Paul Romano, being the artist that I'm sure you're all very familiar with by now. The back, pretty sick. I love the gold inlay on the mostly kind of black and white grayish, or grimish, if you will. Uh, background and then you have your first disc now I can't remember now if they gave you options but the one I got was is clear you can see me behind it hello um, two disc first one going to I believe it is yeah, Pushing the Tides, and then the second one um, to Gigantium, Gigantium, Gigantium. While I'm drinking wine right now, I wish I was drinking a Gigantium beer, which is, I think, out now, and is 8% alcohol, which is pretty cool. Pretty strong, just like the record. So if you open it up, you get this, uh, well, first I think you get this booklet here. I, I think those are the orbs that were in uh, Pushing the Tides video. Maybe that, I can't remember now. But um, if you open it up, you get the lyrics to all the songs, which is Nita Mosquito. Uh, that's some more art. Looks like a potentially a a nod to Emperor of Sand on that one. Um, and then more lyrics, peace and tranquility, my favorite right now, because it appeals to my proggy proggy heart. Here's some more art, pretty dope. And I think this guy, or at least this part of this guy anyway, um, is a nod to Leviathan, more Paul Romano, but we'll, we'll see some of that a little bit later. So I thought I would show this, if you haven't seen it already, you probably have seen it already, so whatever. But in case you haven't, um, uh, I'll show some of them. I'm going to go around and tour the, uh, posters in my house from some of the great artists, uh, in this group and, uh, maybe otherwise. Here's some more art. It's, it's super, super dope. Um. I'm thrilled to have this. It's just great. And then you have all of those, what I just showed you on this. I don't know what you call this. I guess a big poster. I'm hoping that this is given, this is gonna be available um, in a print maybe, for those of us who like to frame these things and adorn our walls with them. Uh, I mean, I guess I could frame and print this, but it's got, you know, all those creases in it. So I'm not sure, not sure how it would work. And kind of want to keep the integrity of the sick and awesome uh, vinyl. Sorry, my battery's low. So we'll have to make this quick. Too late. More art. And then the back, which I think I showed. 
So with that, I want to show you that, but let me show you some other cool things. If you're interested, this may be, may be more appropriate for another group where we uh, share Mastodon uh, relics and artwork. But I got some cool things that I think might be fun to, for you guys to see. Um, one being, since we're here, Marine Corps. Oh, yeah. um, but that is me with my baby, which you'd be like, hey, why are you showing me that? That's weird. Well, I'm wearing a Billy K shirt. Um, and strangely, coincidentally, um, my daughter was born the same day as Billy K, uh, March 23rd. And my wife, because she's super cool, I don't know if you can see it, there's a glare it looks like, but um, got this picture done and then asked uh, Billy Kay to sign it to say Happy Father's Day, and he did. Right around Father's Day, um, when we uh, had tickets to a show in Baltimore. So that was cool. So let me take you through the other posters, if you are interested. Try to get my hand out of the way. First we have, my wife is taking a nap, so I'm trying not to include her right now. Um, this is my band, Triadem. I'm only showing you this because Kelvin Doran from Serpent Tusk Studios did this for my band. Um, and it's dope. And he did the first poster um, with uh, was a tear drinker theme, um, which is awesome that we're all talking about right now. Um, and I just ordered one. Um, so, but if you wanna, you have a band and you got a you you want a great poster, have him do it. And I got a scrim downstairs that has the same design. I'll show you in a second. Oop! Almost dropped it. Then you have, uh, I forget where I got that, but Rasputin themed sign poster. And then you have a Crack the Sky, the recent Crack the Sky tour, not the original, but the more recent one. Best album of all time, uh, in my humble opinion. Then we'll move on over here where we have the uh, Paul Romano print of uh, Leviathan. Again, some of these guys look familiar. If you look at the, uh, the glare is pretty bad. I don't know how to do it. I'm not good at this, but um, uh, that uh, also look like they are included or uh, similar theme in Hushed and Grim. Pretty, pretty cool. And then we got this one, this bad boy. Uh, was actually the tank top I was wearing earlier today. Subsequently, I'm wearing a Crack the Sky shirt as we speak. Um, but I won this in a Mastodon Mayhem contest. Um, one of the many we used to have, and I think we just, or they just reignited. Shout out to Amanda Blackman on this. Um, and then also won this one at a, with the Mastodon Mayhem contest thing. So I got pretty lucky with that. They may have to, um, keep me from uh, contesting in those things. And then we got this. This is a Les Paul that plays beautifully, but I broke the neck a couple of times. The second time I broke it, I thought there was nothing I could do with it. So, um, I decided to bring it to a concert and, and have Mastodon sign it. So you got all their signatures there. Uh, dirty behinds right in the center as you would expect um but after i had him sign it i decided to try to fix it myself and actually did a pretty good job and it actually does play really well but i'm afraid to play it now because i don't want to mess up the awesome signatures 
So moving on, we'll go downstairs. Oh, before we go downstairs, we got this bad boy. This is Kyler Sharp, um, who got to know through Mastodon Mayhem, and who is also on the list of shows for posters for the Hush and Grimm tour. So I can't wait to see what he produces. And we'll definitely buy it. But this is one of his prints. And I want to give a shout out to that badass. So, so far we got a couple badasses that we're showcasing. One, Calvin Doran. Two, Kyler Sharp. Three, Jesse Seipel. As you see, my homage to myself and my Marine Corps experience. Not Mastodon related, but let's move on. Then you have a poster of Sustain Liberia. That is a nonprofit I run when I'm not doing my day job. SustainLiberia.com if you want to look, check it out. This one, clearly Crack the Sky related. I think I just bought it. Bought it with the signatures online. Loved it. Uh, but was not the show. That would have been even cooler. Another badass Mastodon Mayhem guy, Getting Hughes, designed this South Park themed for Mastodon. I love it. I think it's hilarious and awesome. It adorns my wall. This one was clearly Emperor of Sand Tour. Um, I think, oh yeah, this is the one. I actually brought, that's where I brought my Les Paul and Troy Sanders got stuck in North Carolina or something. His flight got canceled. Um, somewhere like that. And so there's only three of them signing that, but he signed the Les Paul later. Um, remember, because I brought the Les Paul there and he remembered and was very gracious to come and sign it uh, in Baltimore where I saw them later. Um, then you have a bunch of, uh, um, Set list signed, you know, pretty standard if you get the the VIP thing, which I do every time because, hey, maybe I'm a little obsessed. I don't know. I haven't gotten it all figured out yet. But you got pictures here. Yeah, this is the same one. At least the top, the top two, which is at the Fillmore. Troy wasn't there yet. Uh, then this bottom one, I think, was in Baltimore. Um, and I'm holding up that artwork in the middle um, which is Liam Stokes Massey, another badass I'd like to mention, where you see that artwork here. Oh, give me a sec. Cover up Dave Mustaine for a second. Uh, that's the exact same artwork. I never got it signed, but that is the one in this picture. Liam Stokes Massey is a badass. And he did these as well. So you got Billy Kay. Uh, where I got signed, Braun. Another set list. This is all Baltimore, I believe. Um, very stoked to get a picture with Troy since I hadn't had one uh, prior to this. Um, well, it's a Megadeth making metal great again. I don't know if they're really doing that, but... Hey, it's cool to get it signed by the, by the band there, Megadeth. Another set list, more pictures. Um, the one on the right is me with Billy Kay at uh, the only uh, lesson I got with him where all I did was end up asking him to play Mastodon songs and filmed him, um, but it was super awesome. And then we got some Garbage Pail Kids, you may have seen the Brent Hines. That's the only one I got. I think there's some other ones. And then Ghost, I like that one. And uh, Grateful Dead, I thought it was pretty cool. Grateful Dead. More Liam Stokes Massey artwork and signed. Very, very happy to have that. And then um, one more set list. And then if you go over here, you see our Triadem Scrim, again, Kelvin Doran. Shout out again to him um, for this great artwork. And if you're in a band and you like Mastodon, you play that type of stuff, or even if you don't, he'd be a great guy to, to 
to hire to do the artwork for your band. As you can see, it's pretty dope. And that's it, guys. Long video. Have fun. I'll see you if you're in D.C. You got the show tomorrow. I'll see you there. Bye.